to introduce the next speaker, Bin Zhu. He's been doing these webcasts for a long time. Uh, he has a bi-monthly uh, webcast with Chinese Neurosurgical Journal. Uh, he's the he, he's from Fudan University Hospital in uh, Shanghai, China. Welcome, Ben. It's all yours. Thank you, John. Thank you, uh, Professor Hassan. So today my topic is a cerebral revascularization for recurrent nasopharyngeal carcinoma invading the internal uh, ICA. The risk of the, this kind of recurrent uh, nasopharyngeal carcinoma is very high. Most of the patient suffered from the blow up syndrome, which means the ICA was finally ruptured um, and the, the patient can die in minutes. So about one third of the uh, T3, T4 stage, uh, this kind of malignant tumor invading the ICA. So if the uh, ICA was not invaded, um, the three year survival rate is about uh, 65%. So if the ICA invaded without cerebral revascularization, the three-year uh, survival rate decreased to 50.7%. But uh, if we do the revascularization of the cerebral combined with the ICA embolization and then uh, the resection uh, by the ENT doctors, now we achieve the 100% uh, of the three years uh, survive. For this kind of uh, ICA invading, if the uh, rupture, if the ICA was ruptured in intraoperatively, so we can use the covered stent to repair the ICA immediately. But uh, if the, it's uh, uh, already invaded the ICA, the ICA was not uh, ruptured, then we can do the uh, cerebral revascularization. Then sacrifice the ICA, then re remove the tumor. So the blood flow replacement, uh, including the maximum flow bypass, uh, this is the highest uh, blood volume replacement I have ever did. Uh, the ECA saphenous vein to M2 segment um, direct bypass combined with two STA MCA. Uh, the high flow uh, uses the saphenous vein as a uh, graft. Medium flow uses radio artery, and the low flow uses STA double bypass. Sometimes uh, the ICA was also can be uh, direct occluded because of the collateral flow from ACOM and PCOM is good enough. So the assistant method was use the progressive occlusion uh, of the ICA. This, can, uh, this kind of method can promote the blood flow of bypass and can be combined with uh, different bypass methods. This is a direct repairment of the ICA. You can see uh, intraoperatively the uh, ICA was uh, ruptured at, at the uh, cavernous segment of the uh, ICA. This is a pseudo aneurysm, and the blue, blue one. You can see the pseudo aneurysm was bulging. And uh, we use a covered stent and uh, then balloon expansion. So this kind of method can repair the ICA immediately. Uh, for if uh, we have the plan to re uh, cerebral revascularization, the donor vessels, including saphenous vein, uh, radio artery, and the superficial temporal artery. The tailored bypass of ICA invaded by malignant tumor. Uh, at first, we should estimate the natural collateral blood flow. Then we should make the plan to guarantee enough blood flow replacement. So the uh, 30 minutes blue occlusion test was uh, crucial. If the patient can tolerate the uh, BOT, then we will decrease the blood pressure around, uh, about 30%. If the patient still can tolerate very well, 
So this kind of ICA can be occluded directly. If the patient couldn't tolerate the enhanced flow occlusion test, so we still need to do the STAMCA double bypass. If the uh, balloon occlusion test was uh, uh, positive, means the patient couldn't mm -hmm. tolerate. If the uh, ICA feeded the MCA territory, if the patient is male, normally the STA is larger than 1.2 millimeter. So this kind of patient, uh, this kind of uh, condition, we use double STA MCA bypass can replace the MCA territory very uh, uh, successfully. If the patient is a female, normally the STA was uh, not so uh, big. So we still need to do the uh, radio artery graft. If the patient's ICA feeded not only the MCA, but also the same side ACA territory. So this kind of condition, we, need, uh, we definitely need the radio artery as a graft. If the uh, ICA was dominant side, not only feeded the same side hemisphere, but also the contralateral ACA territory. So this kind of uh, condition, we will use saphenous vein and the graft. If the double ICA was all invaded, so this kind of patient, we will use the saphenous vein combined uh, double STA MCA bypass. Sometimes we also use a progressive occlusion. So this is a maximum flow bypass. Both ICA were invaded. So we should replace the blood flow for both ICA territory, uh, also means uh, both side hemisphere. So you can see the uh, tumor invaded both side ICA. This is a, a blue occlusion test before surgery. You can see the ACOM was good, good enough. And uh, so I use uh, uh, ECA to saphenous vein to M2 segment direct bypass and the combiner was a uh, STA M4 double bypass. So after this kind of uh, direct bypass, then we immediately sacrifice the both side ICA. You can see the, uh, the bypass blood flow was so good and uh, it feeded the both side hemispheres. So we use only one side bypass to replace the whole hemispheres blood flow. And the right hemisphere also uh, got some collateral blood flow from posterior circulation from PCAM artery. So if the uh, ICA was the dominant side, which means both I ACA territory and the same side MCA territory would be replaced. Uh, so this kind of condition we will use uh, Saphenous vein, you can see like this patient use saphenous vein to replace the dominant side ICA. So if the ICA was only feeded the same side uh, hemisphere, so this kind of condition we will use sometimes if the patient is a female, we will use saphenous vein. If the patient is a male, normally the uh, radio artery was enough. Like this patient, uh, she is a female patient, so the saphenous uh, vein was not so uh, large, but already replaced the whole hemisphere. And uh, if the uh, if the ICA was only feeded the uh, same side MCA territory, so this kind of patient we will use the radio artery as a graft. You can see the radio artery graft replace the MCA territory immediately. And this is the radio. You can see this is the M2 segment. Then cut a oval shape, stoma. This is a radio artery. We make the stoma of the intraoperative, uh, in, 
intracranial at the first, then the ECA to radial artery. So because of the time's uh, limitation, I will skip this video. And uh, if the uh, if we only need to replace uh, some part of the uh, MCA territory, we will use the low flow bypass, normally STA MCA double bypass like this one. You can see the distal part of MCA territory was replaced by the double bypass of STA. And uh, uh, before the occlusion of the ICA, you can see the uh, STA was small, but after occlusion of the ICA, the STA enlarged immediately and then replaced the whole MCA territory. So how to treat the ICA? Because we, were, uh, we want to give the ENT doctors a big enough segment of the ICA. So we will use a long segment occlusion of the ICA, uh, use the coils comp uh, plus the onyx injection. So you can see we can give the uh, ENT doctors uh, more than 10 centimeter segment ICA so they can sacrifice the ICA totally. This is after the bypass and the sacrifice of the ICA. Uh, actually, we also can use the uh, uh, progressive occlusion of ICA in seven days. In some patient, uh, if the uh, STA, if the demand of the uh, blood flow was not so good, uh, so much, uh, we will use progressive occlusion. Uh, I designed this uh, uh, clip. So the distal uh, triangle is a, a, a smith to the proximal triangle. So the shape of the anterior segment can be known by the degree of the opening of the back end. So this is an uh, illustrative case. This is intraoperatively bypass. And uh, after the bypass, we narrowing uh, around 70% uh, to the First, as a first step, then we will occlude it in seven days. So after seven days, you can see before surgery, there's no collateral from ACOM and PCOM, but after seven days, uh, the PCOM and the ACOM uh, enlarged a lot, and there's some collateral from the uh, contralateral side and the, from the posterior circulation, so feeded the uh, ACA territory. So we only need to replace the MCA territory. So uh, until now, we treated uh, uh, 34 cases of this kind of uh, nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Eight cases, we use saphenous band as a uh, graft. Uh, four cases, we use a radial artery. And uh, uh, 19 cases, we use double STA to MCA territory bypass. and. Uh, we also use uh, progressive occlusion of uh, ICA in three cases. Until now, the uh, three years survival rate was 100%. So this is a take home message. So cerebral revascularization combined with direct occlusion or progressive occlusion ICA. Tailored bypass for ICA invaded by malignant tumor can be successfully uh, replaced the cerebral vascularization uh, the cerebral blood flow and the combined uh, ICA occlusion, then we will give the uh, ENT doctors uh, the opportunity to totally remove the uh, malignant tumor and uh, then the patient to have a better prognosis. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Thanks a lot, uh, Dave, for the uh, excellent presentation and the great work that you have uh, developed.